M. Fletcher Brown here, another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Our guest today, all the way from Red Lick, Mississippi. Please welcome Hannah Bell. Hannah, how are you? I'm doing good, Fletcher. How well, about you? I'm good. Welcome to Kicks Country. Thank you. Now, I'm glad to be here. We were just talking. We spent the last several minutes just sitting here um, prior to interview uh, talking about where is Red Lick, Mississippi? <laughs> Red Lake, not many people know, especially people from Mississippi. They're like, what, Red Lake? But it's closer to Natchez or mm -hmm. Vicksburg, right in between, right along the Mississippi River, right next door to Louisiana. We call it the Miss Lou area. So, the Miss Lou? Yeah, it's really? right along in there. Yeah, Miss Lou. So it's like uh, you, uh, you really kind of understand that song, that old song, you know, uh, uh, Louisiana, uh, was it Mississippi Woman, Louisiana Man? Louisiana Woman, Mississippi Louisiana, Man. Louisiana Woman, Mississippi yes. Man. I knew it was one of the two. Yes, that's like, it. I, we understand. <laughs> Trust me, we do. We get that all the time. Now, so one of the interesting things I was telling her is I'm not unfamiliar at all with that area, uh, the Natchez area. My mother's from Natchez, Mississippi. And I was going to say that that whole area of Mississippi, it's beautiful and it's so rich in southern history true southern history uh civil war history of course you mentioned vicksburg vicksburg was a huge huge part yeah. of the civil war history if you if you remember your history so you've grown up with uh i mean some of the truest southern values that you know you can you can you can come they come to mind uh, right. coming from that area i mean I'm not saying that you're like my mother <laughs> Because uh, I know, I mean, apparently I'm sure that's, that's not a, a bad thing. I'm just, I mean, apparently, that women find that unflattering when the guys go, "Oh, you're so much like my mom." <laughs> so hey, I'm not saying that. It's not a bad thing. It's really not. But uh, you say your father's a pastor. Is he right? is. He's a pastor in Natchez, actually, a Baptist preacher. I've grown up a preacher's kid my entire life, mm -hmm. so I've always had that. Better watch what she's doing. Mm -hmm. she's a preacher's kid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. But that that actually helped me out with my singing because I always had some type of audience to perform to because my dad was preaching and then he had a congregation he was like hey hey so you started, you sing? so you started in church yes oh okay yeah. so um right church did you bring the sort of the uh, uh strong does that bring a stronger christian feel to your to your brand of music or or are you would you consider yourself more mainstream or how do you feel about the music it's, it's kind of different uh, i call i kind of classify my music as positive country music it's not going to bring you down it's going to lift you up. Yes, some songs might actually have a Christian vibe to them, mm -hmm. but that's I mean, not, it's, bad. That's not a bad absolute, thing at all. There's nothing wrong with that at all. The way this world is today, Believe Lord me. knows we need it. But yeah, some of my songs are going to have a Jesus Christ message in them, but others are going to be like Portunate, and it's just about having a good time. All right, well, let's talk about that. That's the single, Portunate. Well, let's talk about the single. Did you write that? My sister and I did. That's actually what we do in Mississippi. Ask your mom about it. I'm sure she can tell you <laughs> straight up. She's done it. Yeah, she She's probably has, it. actually. Yes, and that's all we do. Like, my sister has a big rap around porch around our house and we will call text whatever call up our friends and say hey y'all let's go porch it like we say it that way and when we were trying to finish up writing the songs for the album we were needed like one more song and we're like what do we like to do what do we want to do you know what do we want to write about and it's like let's just write about what we like to do which is fortunate and so we did and we wrote it and daddy was like oh that'll just be an album filler <laughs> <laughs> but we get in the studio we get it recorded we get it mastered, produced, all that kind of stuff. And then we're like, wait a second, that's kind of catchy. Mm -hmm. So we decided to release it as the first single off the album. All right, and the album, by the way, Chase and Thunder, that is actually available. Uh, is it iTunes? Where you can download it, right? Oh, yeah. iTunes, Amazon MP3, Napster, Zoom, all those places. And if you want a physical copy, Amazon.com will ship it right to your house. But you can't call me because this one's mine. <laughs> So, um, all right, so now you're not going to play the single because uh, the single is like, you want to hear the single, you call us at Kicks 96, we'll be happy to play it for you. But for the interview for this, you decided that you're going to play the title track from the CD, Chase and Thunder, right? Right. So that, what's that? That song, oh, it's so close to my heart. It, it has a funny story that goes along behind it. And the song actually says nothing about the funny story. But that's kind of how we got the idea. I used to have a dog. Um, yes, he died. His name was Bo Duke. He was my, just my baby. And he was seven pounds of like, ferociousness. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> he thought that he was the baddest thing on the planet. Most small dogs do. Yes. He had the little dog syndrome, you know, mm -hmm. where they try to be all big and bad. But he was an inside dog, and when it would thunder outside, he would scratch on the door and growl, and the little hair on his back would all ruffle up. And you'd have to let him out, and we live on a lot of land, so you'd let him out, and he'd be out in the pasture as fast as he could go in the direction of the thunder. And we'd holler at him, Bo, Bo, you know, come on back. You're never going to catch that thunder, you know. But, of course, he was a dog. He didn't understand. But he thought the entire time, I'm going to catch this. This is in my territory. I'm going to show it who's boss. And so we kind of thought about that and turned it into a song. Some people tell you that you're not going to be able to 
accomplish a dream that metaphorically speaking it's like chasing thunder something that can't be caught but I believe with God all things are possible so chase your dreams because no one can stop you from achieving this yeah and if you catch thunder let me know because it's got to hurt yeah I'm definitely. just saying alright I'm going to get out of the way and I'm going to let her I'm going to let Hannah Bell from Red Lake Mississippi play her, uh, her title track from her album Chasing Thunder right here at kicks96country.com Chasing Thunder, well, excuse me, Chasing Apostle. Chasing. Chasing Thunder uh, from Red Lake, Mississippi, and she's made it all the way up here to visit with us in Kicks Country. And uh, remember, the single is Portunate, and if you want to hear it, you call us on Kicks 96, and we'll be happy to play it for you so you can get it. But we'd rather you go uh, to, where's your website that they, again, they can go and download the single? It's Hannah with an H hyphen Bell with an E dot com. Somebody already had Hannah Bell dot com. Oh, I wasn't no. excited about that. It was some fragrance company. <laughs> I was like, come on. But yes, Hannah with an 
page, hyphen and bell with an e.com. And I'm a huge Facebooker. Like, I love Facebook big time. So, so if you search for Hannah Bell Sutherland, Sutherland's my last name, by okay. the way. Hannah Bell's my first. Um, if you search for that, you find my musicians page, click like right there, and you mm -hmm. can get it all. All my links, all my music, everything is right there. That's right. Do you tweet too? Oh, yes. Tweet. You can find that link too. Because, you know, there, there, there's, 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 there's Twitterers and there's Facebookers. I'm a both. You're both? Yeah, I'm see, both. I'm a both too. But I think I'm more of a Facebooker than I am a Tweeterer. Tweeter. <laughs> I'm a Tweeterer as much as a Facebooker. Just I think. as much? I just go ahead and connect the two. I did that at one time, but then I disconnected them. So, I don't know. Maybe I should connect back. Maybe. Yeah, you should. And then and then <laughs> we'll all connect with you. And that's Hannah Bell. Again, don't forget, Hannah with an H, dash Bell with an E. Yes. Dot com. And you can get her music, Chase and Thunder, Singles Portunate. And uh, we hope that uh, we can get you all the way up here from Red Lake, Mississippi sometime again soon. Play us another song on your uh, on your traveling guitar. I would love to. All right. And if you want to hear it, you call us here at Kicks96, and we'll catch you next time another artist video blog at kicks96country.com.